Hey, everybody. Um, I don't know who's here or if anybody is here. However, we may be looking at the start of World War III. Um, apparently, um, Iran has officially launched attack on Israel using dozens of kamikaze drones. This news came out within the last um, 10 minutes, I guess. Um, I tried to get on here as quickly as I possibly could. Um, and excuse my appearance. Uh, I wasn't planning on being online today. But anyway, um, so let's see. Um, and I'm going to butcher some of these words. So I apologize in advance. Al Arabiya, Al Arabiya reports U.S. forces have begun intercepting the drones in Iraqi and Syrian skies. Saudi and Jordanian Air forces have reportedly already targeted launches from Iran and Yemen. British fighter jets have scrambled from Cypriot bases. So this is getting pretty hairy. Um, this could be the beginning. I mean, they have launched apparently hundreds of drones. Or I'm sorry, dozens of kamikaze drones at Israel. And currently the United States is intercepting um, these drones as much as they can in the Iraqi and Syrian skies. Um, and Saudi and Jordanian, Jordanian air forces have reportedly already targeted launches from Iran and Yemen. British fighter jets have been scrambled. Um, this is pretty hairy. Uh, this is scary. Um, Iran officially launches attack on Israel, uses dozens of drones. Um, uh, Iran launches full-scale military drone attack against Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, we are ready to do anything against Iran and do not expect mercy to be shown to any Iranian. Uh, that is what he is quoted as saying. Um, this is pretty frightening. Uh Another one, uh, Iran officially launches attack on Israel using dozens of kamikaze drones. Will Iron Dome still defend all? Um, if World War III breaks, there are two sides, Russia, China, Iran, Yemen, and North Korea. And this other side would be NATO, the United States, Israel, and the UK. Uh, this is terrifying. Um, I'm trying to weed out the political uh, um, the political portions of this, so I apologize for kind of scrolling through as I'm trying to give you this news um, because there is a lot of political um, added to this. And hey, by the way, y'all get to see me without makeup now, so there you go. Um, let's see. Uh, Iran launch. This is NBC News. Iran launches drones towards Israel in a retaliatory attack. It will be hours before the drones arrive in Israel, the IDF says, and Israel's mi military is working in close cooperation with the U.S. and partners to act against the launches and intercept them. Hello, Mr. Johnny BB Gunner. Um, Yeah, this is this is scary. Um, Iran launches multiple drone swarms. Um, they officially launched their attack on Israel. That is the breaking news from BRICS. Um, that um, which would be the part of um, their group that they're they're belonging to that's against NATO and the United States and all the rest of them. Um, so they're saying Iran officially launches an attack on Israel using dozens of drones. Um, let's see. Uh, breaking news. First, uh, this is from another one. First wave of assault. Iran launches 50 suicide attack drones. Um, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles to follow as a second wave assault. I cannot confirm that. I'm reading what has been said. I cannot say for sure that that is correct. Um, I'm giving it to you as I see it and as I'm um, getting the information. So it says cruise missile. It says first wave of the assault. They've launched 50 suicide attack drones and then cruise missiles and ballistic missiles to follow as a second wave assault. 
that is um, a repost from somebody else. Um, so I'm hearing dozens. I'm hearing 50. Um, it's going to take hours before they hit Israel. Um, the U.S. forces, as long uh, along with other allied forces, are attempting to um, stop all of these uh, as much as they possibly can. And um, Britain has already sc is scrambling its um, fighter jets so far. That's what I know. Um, uh, let's see. Um, now this says a second wave of drone launches from Iran is heading towards Israel. Uh, okay, here we go. This is the um, war intelligence. Uh, in the coming hours, the U.S. expects missile launches from Iran and southern Lebanon, and maybe even the Houthis, as well as drones. The Iranians are trying to overwhelm the Israeli air defenses, per an, uh, an Israeli official. In the coming hours, um, let's see if I just reread that. Uh, um, the Iranians are trying to overwhelm the Israeli air defenses with drones and missiles coming in at different altitudes, speeds, and directions, but hitting targets at the same time, according to the official. While the U.S. expects that most of these will be intercepted, upwards of 85%, the fear is that if any Israel Israeli lives are lost, the Israeli response will be much bigger. Um, so this is, this is getting pretty scary. Um, Let's see. Uh, Netanyahu's plane has taken off uh, for whatever reasons. Um, Arane, uh, I just read that. Um, let's see. Um, Netanyahu said that he has been prepared. They've been preparing for the possibility of a direct attack by Iran. Our defense systems are deployed. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and in attack. Um, we appreciate the fact he added that the USA stands by Israel. Um, let's see. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm just giving you the update. I don't. I didn't see anybody else come out with this yet, um, as far as my notifications were concerned. And I mean, this is literally breaking news. Um, uh, so yeah, I definitely. Um, and it's interesting because um, Nate last night on um, Canadian Prepper, you know, we all tease a little bit, but last night on, on his channel, he said, I've got a lot of crap to do this weekend. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to be um, online um, doing reports. So he said, I've got to get some preparations done. And this may be the time, God help us all, that he is correct in his assumptions and correct in what he has, um, predicted. Um, and Lord help us all if that is the case. Um, yes. Uh, so I'm getting great, um, advice in the comments to share with everybody. Um, have some cash on hand, get it now. Um, go to your local ATM now while nobody else is reacting. This is the time. Um, we've talked about this. We have, uh, We've discussed it, and we've we've talked about how quickly we need to react in case something like this happens. Now, again, this may not be something that we feel the after effects of for days, if not weeks, depending on what Israel's response is to this and how many drones they're able to bring down. But the bottom line is you need to go and you need to do all of those things that you have been preparing for now. Go get that cash. Go to the gas station. Sorry the prices are high get your gas tanks filled up. Every single gas container that you have that you can safely hold gas in, go get it all now. Um, uh, yes, Mr. Grizz, you actually predicted this, um, what, last night, this morning, one of the two. Um, uh, so um, let's see, what else do we have? So go get that cash, go get your gas tanks filled up. I would also suggest that you um, make a quick trip to get some, um, some, you know, extra bread and things along those lines that will get you through that first week or so. Remember your, uh, food preps 
are designed to be emergency. If you have something else that you can substitute instead and save those food preps for when there is no more food in the grocery stores, then that is what you should be doing. So if you can take a quick trip to the grocery store and pick yourself up some bread, some peanut butter or um, lunch meat or whatever you want, um, get that now while it's still there. Also, obviously, go buy some cases of water right now um, just to have extra cases of water. Um, uh, Johnny said, I had the, t I have had the TV and iPhone on since the news broke. Um, let's see. Um, three dogs said this was no surprise. Um, um, three dogs said this was no surprise. Um, Uh, Mr. Grizz says, and so it begins, and right on time, just two days ago, the U.S. warned Israel about an attack. Um, I find this all totally amazing. Yes, um, it's all, it, it it was all predicted. Um, so I, like I said, I highly recommend that you um, go ahead and get those, those preps done. Um, I will be doing them as soon as I go off air. But um, I know that for a lot of us, it's the weekend and um, we're doing other things, except for me. I was doing a video. Um, we're doing other things. We're outside. It's beautiful out right now, at least down here. And so maybe this was not something that you heard about. Um, so I wanted to be sure and get on. And like I said, I hadn't seen um, anybody come on and say, okay, they've done it. And and here we go. So um uh, additional drones launches have been sent from um, Kermenshaw. It seems there is a second attack wave. And again, I apologize. I'm getting this stuff. I cannot verify um, how legitimate it is. I'm just sharing it with you as I find it. Um, and I'm trying again, like I said, to weed out the political portions of it. I don't need to hear that. Neither do you. Um, uh, yeah, see, there's another one that is um political uh islamic revolutionary guard begins its attack against israel for years we've known that igrc is destabilizing the whole region and is behind um multiple terrorist attacks blah 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 okay i don't want that um iran launches drone swarm at Israel, if not eliminated en route, they could take several hours to arrive. This could be an, an initial attack wave. I'm seeing more and more of that, that this would be the original attack, and then they're going to follow up with um, ballistic missiles. So the um, Netanyahu, it's been reported, is up in the air in his plane. I have a feeling that they were talking about um, uh, the mumbler coming back early from Delaware. So I have a feeling that he's probably been scrambled up as well. I have not confirmed that yet, but I would think that um, he was scheduled to come back early. I would think that he probably have him either up in the air or in a bunker somewhere. Um, maybe in his basement. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Um, uh, yeah, see, that's another thing about um, political stuff. I'm not doing political uh, this is facts. Um, ah. Okay, I can quote this. I think that um, it is it, interesting, uh, the comment, because it is from a leader of the, of the world, not free world, but a leader of our world. Uh, Vladimir Putin posted, um, breaking Iran officially launches attack on Israel using dozens of drones. Mr. Putin went on to say, and I'm quoting him here, the Pentagon finally got the war they wanted. That is a direct quote from Vladimir Putin, just FYI. Um, let's see, uh, Yemen. Now this is something I just saw for the first time. I mean, I heard something about it, but Yemen, it's confirmed, has also launched drones towards Israel. Um, and the second wave of drones from Israel is heading or from Iran is heading towards Israel. So again, um, Y'all need to be, 
like I said, go get that cash uh, if that was something you've been meaning to do um, or you don't feel like you have a whole lot of it. Um, uh, you know, I always um, save my ones and fives and um, bundle them in $20 increments uh, for the ones. So um, I'm, I'm good with that and I'm okay with that um, for my smaller bills. Um, but I will be, um, I've got five gas cans and I know that two of them are empty. So I will be heading to the gas station um, to, um, and I know the cars are filled up, but I will be heading to the gas station to fill up those um, gas cans. Um, and I just went to the grocery store yesterday, thank goodness. And I did happen to stock up on a lot of stuff, interestingly enough. Um, let's see, this is a massive escalation as dozens of Iranian Shahed, Shahad, Shahad drones are launched into Israel. Unmistakable sound of its buzz heard in the footage flying over Iraq on the way to strike Israeli cities. Um, and these are suicide attack drones and it is the first wave went and now we're in the second wave. Um, all right, let me catch everybody up. Uh, Mikhail says this could be a diversionary attack. Look to the north or south for the real punch. Um, we can expect pretty much anything with this, y'all. Um, it could be a, um, it could be, oh, sorry, I apologize, live. Um, it could be a, um, a cyber attack or cyber attacks. It could be um, some type of an EMP situation. It could be that all of a sudden, remember I did sleeper cells? Hmm. Uh, just what, yesterday or the day before? I did a sleeper cell video. This could be when all of those are triggered, um, depending on what is going on. We don't know. And I don't mean to sound alarmist. I don't mean to sound um, wackadamia nut, right wing conspiracy chick, but I'm just saying we don't know what's going to happen. So you need to be prepared. Um, hey, um, Iron Horse. So um, catch him up. He just walked in. And if anybody else is just coming here, um, Iran has launched over um, 50 drones at Israel. The United States and other allies, NATO allies, are attempting to shoot them down. They believe that they can get somewhere in the neighborhood of 85%. The problem is, is Iran is launching them at different altitudes to try to um, evade the um, the shooting down part of it. And that now it says that a second um, set has been sent. And also that they believe that um, this will be followed up with ballistic missiles. Um, Netanyahu is scrambled and is up in the air, uh, according to the news I'm getting. And um, so I would say that um, this this may be this may be it, um, because we're now directly targeting the Iranian. I mean, the United States, for example, is now directly targeting these drones where before we were kind of, um, on the sideline, cause that's what we like to do. Um, let's see what else we got to do. Uh, and then, um, Michael Savage, who I love, um, I can't listen to him for very long though, but he's a brilliant man said, this is a first week strike to draw out Israeli countermeasures. There's a high probability Iran will next launch cruise missile missiles, which will reach Israel in minutes. Um, so, um, there we go. Uh, and everybody, of course, is blaming everybody else. Um, you know, uh, depending on which side they're on. Um, everyone is blaming everyone else. Uh, a lot of people are pointing the finger at our mumbler in chief, interestingly enough. Uh, let's see. A second wave of drones, as I said, has just been launched from Iran. Um, additional drone launches from I'm going to butcher these names and I apologize, Kermen Shah. It seems there is a second attack wave. So um, looks like they're coming from all different places as well. Um, all right. Um, here is um, 
not sure where this came from. Uh, they're saying it's breaking that the Iranian attack on Israel consists of hundreds, not dozens of suicide drones. Um, that is from Israel, Israeli officials to Axios. I cannot confirm this information. I'm just giving it to you. I have had no ability to look any of this up, um, but I'm sharing it with you as it's coming in. Uh, they are, okay, so the drones are armed with 20 kilograms of explosives each, and they are set to hit the mainland of um, Israel in nine hours. And then what they're saying is that after that original, there's a second wave and then um, right behind it. And then they will send in the ballistic missiles, which will hit in, you know, minutes. Uh, yeah, this is frightening. Guys, this this is, we very well may be at the start of what we've all prepared for. Um, and if we are, then um, I hope you all will pray for me because I will be praying for all of you. Um, we probably will lose contact, um, I would think. Um, uh, there we go. Yeah, I was right. Um, so Biden has um, returned back from his, uh, um, this is a holy crap special, Manny. Um, this is a uh, uh, shit hit the fan um, special. Um, so 14 minutes ago, it's confirmed that um, Biden has returned to the White House to meet with his national security team. So there you have it. Um, okay, so here's an, another interesting thing. The drones that were sent towards Israel have supposedly a 50% fail rate in Ukraine. Um, they either fall short of the target or they fail in flight. Um, let's see the crap. I didn't mean to click on that. Sorry. Um, the Ukraine mili military tactic to defeat these drones was to wait for the lawnmower sound and use heavy machine guns to shoot down the drones. Um, the drones are actually, according to this military person, more likely to hit Palestinians and Jordan and Israelis in Israel. So, and we are shooting them down as fast as possible, apparently. Um, yes, uh, feces is hitting the rotary device a hundred percent. Um, this is scary. Let me refresh and see what else, if there's anything else that's popped up. Um, so like I said, gas, I know I'm sorry, I'm money, cash, and go to the grocery store and get yourself some bread, milk, lunch meat, all of those things and water, get water. Um, we definitely need, um, water. Uh, I'm just seeing more of the same. I'm not seeing, um, it, prime minister Netanyahu has been quoted as saying, we are ready to do anything against Iran and do not expect mercy to be shown to any Iranian. That is the quote, the latest quote from Netanyahu, who last I read is up in the air. Um, but there was an interesting one. Oh, so this also, again, needs to be reiterated. Um, if World War III does break out, there are two sides, Russia, China, and Iran, Yemen, and North Korea. And then the other side, of course, is NATO, United States, Israel, and the UK. And the UK is scrambling. They probably are up in the air now, uh, fighter jets. So um, they're on their way. I don't know what else is going on, but I do know that. Um, see if I'm missing um, anything else. Yeah, a lot of people are blaming um, the U.S. and in particular the mumbler in chief for um, this happening. Just FYI. Uh, the IDF has released a video showing how its air defense systems work as the um, launch attack of the drones heads towards Israel. Um, and this is, um, quoted as saying Tehran has crossed a red line after vowing to retaliate for an attack on its consulate in Syria. Uh, oh, Bumbaclad, this is, um, not good. Uh, 
So I just wanted to catch you up on this. Um, that is all I know at the moment. Um, please, now that you're aware, please stay tuned to um, whatever uh, you do listen to. Um, we should be having a whole lot of stuff. Um, YouTube. I haven't seen any um, uh, posts um, come through and I usually get the little notification. Um, so I don't know if they're all doing their own thing. Like I told you at the beginning of this, um, Canadian prepper talked about this last night, believe it or not, and said, I will not be on much this weekend because I am going to be getting my final preparations in order. So I found that really interesting that here he is. Um, so, and I also apologize for the shoddiness of my live. Um, but I'm trying to get this information out to y'all as soon as possible. So please do everything you're supposed to do that you have practiced for that you know about. Um, exactly. Mr. Grizz voice of reason as always panicking will not help stay focused and stay informed. Um, the best thing you can do is, um, I will tell you that, um, some of your social media outlets are going to be your best places to get this information the quickest. Um, generally the news stations, unless they qualify, whatever they tell you are going to have to verify it first. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Um, uh, and Mikhail pointed out something interesting. Wartime presidents generally do well at the at the ballot box. And apparently um, we have allowed others to poke the bear enough times that the bear is finally striking back. Not that I consider Iran a bear, but y'all know what I mean. Um, so the first wave of the assault, over 50 suicide attack drones. Second wave has been right behind it. And then they're expecting um, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles to follow. And those will be there in minutes. So what they're going to do is, you know, distract them with the two initials and then send the cruise missiles and ballistic missiles, which, like I said, would be there in minutes. These drones are extremely slow. It's going to take nine hours. So um, sometime again around um, two in the morning, Eastern time in that neighborhood for seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one. Yeah. So somewhere in the neighborhood um, now of around midnight, one o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, um, we will see um, how much of this drone attack has not been stopped by the NATO, U.S., et cetera, allies, and how much is actually hitting Iran. I mean, Israel, sorry. Um, <coughs> so y'all, uh, it's all right. You can call me Nilly. I'll take Nilly. I don't mind. Um, don't be cannon fodder. Don't. Uh, uh, and again, like I said, it's a weekend. A lot of people right now are out enjoying the first signs of spring or they're out doing their weekend activities. They don't know that this is going on. So please, um, just safely, calmly, um, be the gray man, go get your stuff done and get back to your homes and then begin making sure that your fortifications for your homes are prepared. And, um, yeah, I'm so sorry, Iron Horse, um, Iron Horse is on the road and, um, like 15 miles away from home. So bless his heart. Um, and he's. I don't even think you're there yet to where your destination is. I believe Iron Horse. Um, but the thing is, is that most likely since we, we already have, you know, nine hours before we're going to see what the damage is to begin with and then see what the next, because there's going to be a retaliation for this retaliation. So this could play out over the next few days before we really know what's going to happen and how bad it's going to be. And that's why I'm saying you guys are all smart and smart and you're ahead of the game. Go get your stuff done now before you have that, you know, 250 cars lined up at each gas station and everybody runs out of gas and blah, blah, blah. And the ATM machines don't work or God forbid we have an EMP or um, the sleeper cells in the United States are um, activated and they decide to do their damage or whatever it might be. We don't know at this point. So, but I will say that 
um, with the U.S. getting involved and England directly getting involved, um, now it, it it is more um, more important than ever that we protect ourselves. So, um, everybody, please be safe. Um, please get your stuff done and get back home. Um, I, if I get any more updates, I will post them onto the community page. Um, so please keep checking that. Um, if I hear anything else from one of my places, um, I will, you know, get those out to you. But like I said, social media and, um, literally social media is probably your best bet right now to get information as quickly as possible and just keep refreshing. Um, there we go, Mr. Grizz. Mr. Grizz said, um, there's nothing no one can do to change things when the big boys play. You can only control your own space. Exactly. Get yourself and your space under control and make sure that you are safe and your loved ones and whoever are safe. And do not, um, uh, do not uh, give away any information. Um, you know, don't go to the... Um, the grocery store or the gas, wherever you, you're going and start babbling about this, unless everybody else is talking about it. If everybody else is talking about it, join in if you want to, if you don't want to, don't, but don't go telling everybody and announcing this, um, because all you're going to do is cause panic, uh, for a lot of people. So, um, and make sure I keep forgetting to tell you, make sure you buy extra water. Um, please, uh, make sure you buy extra water. Um, that's it, everybody. Um, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the likes. And, um, I will update you as I can, if I get any information that I feel is above and beyond what you might've already heard, I'll be posting it on the community page. All right. Thank you. Y'all have a safe day, please. And I will be praying for all of us.